And Moscow is calling on the UN Security Council to put pressure on radical movements in Ukraine over their threats of terror. Meanwhile, the uh, Russian Federation Council is urging the Kremlin to withdraw its ambassador from the United States. And more now from Gaine Chichikan. She reports from Washington. What Russia brings to the UN is the message that those who, through force, took power in Kiev should not count on using force against people in Crimea and other parts of Ukraine that had no say in the power grab at Maidan. The Russian envoy to the UN called on Kiev and those who have influence on Kiev to bring the situation in the country on a, quote, political constitutional track. Russia urges everyone to go back to the agreement signed in February between the Ukrainian government and some of the opposition leaders that would lead to elections that would lead to a unity government uh, which would be inclusive and would not trample on the interests of a big part of Ukraine that had no say in the power grab at Maidan. In the meantime, Russia calls for decision makers in Kiev and in the West to rein in, the, as the ambassador said, the radicals in Ukraine who have very anti-Russian sentiments and who present danger to the Russian-speaking population in Ukraine. Russia says if the Russian-speaking population in Ukraine is in danger, it will take measures to protect them under international law. Earlier, the Russian parliament suggested that the Russian president recall the ambassador to the U.S. for consultations. We don't know whether or not the Russian president will actually uh, do that, but Russian lawmakers say this proposal was in reaction to President Obama saying Russia would pay if it intervened in Ukraine.